What's up, Pisces? Hey, go on, brush your shoulders off. What's going on? Y'all, y'all must be feeling like uh something kind of good this day. You understand me? JC said, get that dirt off your shoulders. What's going on, Pisces? That was lit for a second though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank y'all for visiting the channel today. I'm Blue Phoenix, if you're new here. Thank you so much for visiting. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Get that dirt off your shoulder, Dustin. Maybe some of y'all cleaning up or something like that. Anyway, Pisces. Oh, shit. Looking like y'all bringing Indians to stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, if you are new here, welcome to all my returning subscribers. What it do, boo? What's goody? What's going on? Y'all don't forget to hit the like button and definitely subscribe if this message resonates with you. Ooh, six of cups. Mm-hmm. If y'all need a personal reading, I do offer them and I do have a special going on right now. So y'all check the description box and I will also try to have it pinned in the comment section, okay? Mm, all right, let's see what's going on with y'all Pisces. Let's tap in with each other's spirit. Help me to get into pisces energy let me see what's going on in their lives mm, i see okay yeah help me see what's up here with pisces what's going on with pisces what's coming towards them that they need to know about okay so it looks like something here from either memories or something um i heard enlightenment okay something maybe about your past maybe about a child of yours or from your childhood all right a taurus could be significant another pisces or a cancer all right so spirit what energy is pisces in today it looks like growth is what i heard some of y'all are cleaning or like jay-z said getting dirt off your shoulders okay all right, let's see. Getting through something, something that could have had you worried, concerned, paranoid, I heard, okay? All right, I know we've been having a lot of monkey on your back readings, Pisces. So let's see what this is about. Spirit, what is the Six of Cups about for Pisces? What is going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? I don't remember if I said it, but if I haven't, y'all don't forget to like the video. I do appreciate it. All right, y'all. Let's see what's going on with Pisces here, Spirit. All right, I feel like something from your past is coming back into your future. What? <laughs> um, some old idea, a form, of, or or I heard art. Some of y'all might be discovering some of your artwork or something from a child, from being a child or something like that, or from your child. Okay. Tell me more about the Six of Cups of Pisces. I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch I ain't want to hit me. Ooh, king of cups. All right, that's your energy, Pisces. I heard a head and heart alignment. Head and heart alignment. I heard transformation, too. What is this in reference to, spirit? Oh, shit. What's going on here with Pisces, Spirit? Wow, some of you could have walked away from a King of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer recently. All right. Let's do this. Mm. And you got the hangman on the bottom of the deck. That's a pause in action. That's also reflection. What is Pisces reflecting about, Spirit? What are they in reflection of? Wow, justice. Damn. Some form of balance. I feel like y'all are bringing balance into your lives. What is this balance about? Two of cups and the two of wands. Here we go. And it's 422 on the clock. All right. This could be a twin flame or a soulmate connection. All right. I'm, I'm, but I'm hearing I heard head, heart. Something, I, I feel like it's something inside of you or something something within you as well, Pisces. Some form of revelation, some form of change that's that's occurring within you. All right, head, heart, connection. Okay, y'all could be um, doing um, crown chakra meditations, heart chakra meditations, things of that nature. What's this balance about? The six of cups, again, something from your past, possibly. 
even a past life. I heard past life karma. All right. And then the, the moon on the bottom of the deck. Revelation is something here with revelation. What's this about spirit? Ten of Pentacles. Mm, inheritance, legacy, things of that nature. What is Pisces focused on here with the justice? Let's see. Why are they in this justice energy? What are they trying to bring justice to? Something that occurred in the past. Personal growth. Didn't I just say that? I'm telling you. Personal growth, okay? It says, as I move toward greater consciousness, I feel old thoughts and habits fall away. Literally. You're bringing justice and balance into your life, Pisces. New York State of Mind or Empire State of Mind came on first. That was the first song that came on and it made me really think about your empire, like being in that empress goddess energy, um, bringing alignment into your life. Um, it says, um, like training wheels on a bike, they help me get to where I am, but now that I can ride, I don't need those slow, crummy wheels, except when I'm, <laughs> what? Except when I'm making bike analogies, it's funny. All right, this is from a, the Affirmator's deck. Wow, what else about Pisces? Getting centered, getting grounded, okay? All right, some of y'all could be doing that. This growth looks good, though. I heard turmoil, though. I heard turmoil. What is this turmoil about? What is it in regards to? What is this? Uh, uh, it's like an uncomfortable feeling or something. Some of y'all could be transitioning from one kind of lifestyle to another. It is a Pisces collective reading, so, you know, tap in. I mean, <laughs> pick up what res resonates and leave the rest, right? All right, some of y'all could be going horseback riding. Still, nigga. It's something about the mindset. He said all these different, he's like rich nigga, poor nigga, broke nigga, whatever, whatever, right? He said, but you still, but still a nigga. Okay, so it's something about, this could be someone else too. Okay, Pisces, if it's not you, it could be someone in your energy feeling like, or it could be you feeling like no matter like, you know, if I do this, if I do that, if I do this, they still look at me like I'm a little girl or a little boy or something like that, right? Maybe you're growing and people are criticizing your growth, okay? Some of y'all could have had a changed mind about some form of lifestyle is what I'm hearing. All right, I, I usually use myself, for example, um, growing up in a Christian household, very much Bible thumper my whole life until I went through my spiritual awakening, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of my people do not agree with tarot and things like that. So it could be something of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Something to where um, others may not agree with it or maybe you're surprising someone is what I heard, all right? What's the view of others in Pisces life? What's, what, or what, what is it she's speaking of, spirit? All right? Rich nigga, poor nigga, broke nigga, all of that. What you talking about? What's this? Worthiness and self-love. I'm telling you, Pisces. I'm telling you. Rich nigga, poor nigga. Worthiness and self-love. Some people may be jealous that you're focusing more on yourself okay that you're bringing justice balance and alignment into your own life i heard something about your family okay wish fulfillment and the ten of pentacles right here something about your family okay yeah especially with this six of cups something about in the past you may have been left out of something or maybe you're just we are different pisces right <laughs> we are very different but um you know we we kind of yeah y'all know who how we are as pisces and it's something about you stepping into your full power that others may not like. Something about you focusing on yourself and knowing that you're worthy, right? Some of y'all are not putting up with bullshit from other people. This could even be a lover, okay, or your mate. All right, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles type energy. Um, I always pick that up with these rabbits on here. So that's uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. All right. And you also have justice with uh, Libra energy. Wow. The sun and the two of pentacles. Bright. The bright side is what I heard. All right. The bright side. All right. Some of y'all are trying to stay in a positive state of mind. Okay. What is challenging Pisces right now, spirit? What 
What's challenging Pisces? What is challenging Pisces right now? Okay, so there may be some, like I said earlier, get the dirt off your shoulder. Something about maybe y'all cleaning up your house or... Um, this is opposing. Something about your home. Clarify this for me, spirit. What is this? That may be opposing uh, Pisces. I heard restriction. What is this restriction? This is literally balanced, though. Give me a second, Pisces. Something about enlightenment. Again, I'm here with the angel's head glowing like that. What's opposing Pisces? Hangman and the five of um, swords. What is this spirit? Some of y'all may need to protect yourself from attacks of the enemy, okay? Whoever that enemy is to you, whether it's whatever, right? It's something about you protecting yourself against. Okay, guard your energy, all right? Be careful who you allow in your energy, okay? And in your home as well. Something about you cleaning your home, bringing alignment into your home. How can they do that, spirit? What does Pisces need to do to bring in this alignment that they are going after? Wow. Inside. Go inside, Pisces. That's your card. This is our card, right? The high priestess. This is the holder of secrets, of occultic knowledge, okay? Esoteric knowledge, all right? Something about expanding your knowledge and knowing yourself. Okay, once again, worthiness. Knowing that you're worthy. Taking care of yourself and self-love. Don't worry about what other folks think, right? What about the high priestess? King of Wands, stepping into your power, Pisces. Literally, stepping into your power. I heard, not dictatorship, but what's, what, like, order. Order in the court, okay? That's what I just heard. Order in the court. Some of y'all might be going to court or have some legal issues or something like that. It may be something with inheritance. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles again. Or something dealing with a, a large sum of money or something, okay? Step into your power, right? This is the death card. This speaks of one way of dying and another way of being born. One, two, three, four on the clock, okay? I heard formatio, reformatio, transformatio. <laughs> I forgot what, I guess that's Latin or I don't know. But it's like formation, reformation, transformation. Okay, transformation. Oh, shit. I heard dictatorship a little bit earlier. Um, but this is order. This is literally order. Order in court, right? And the Six of Wands speaks about um, um, getting your roses, getting your flowers while you're here, being acknowledged for who you are. It's something about you stepping in your power, Pisces. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles to me speak, it actually... In my opinion, especially for this reading in the angel right here, I always get um, collaboration from the Three of Pentacles, but not just any collaboration, like angelic collaboration, all right? Guidance from above, all right? And it's something about you standing your ground against whatever attack. Where is this attack coming from, Spirit? What is this attack? Because I keep hearing attack, attack, attack of the Titans. What is that? All right, some of y'all could live in Tennessee, all right? I think that's what the Titans at. I don't know. What is this? What is this spirit? What is this heavy, heavy, heaviness? What is this? Some form of PTSD. This could be internally Pisces. It's something here internally. Some of y'all may have been through, like a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Years of trauma. You know what I'm saying? Years of abuse, neglect things of that nature. I feel like it's something about y'all healing this from the past, right? What else, uh, spirit? Everything, I'll do anything, anything for you. <laughs> what else Pisces needs to know, spirit? What's going on with my Pisces? Look at here. Seven of cups and a 10 of pentacles. Give me a minute. I heard the truth is being revealed. I 
What's the Seven of Pentacles? I mean the Seven of... Um, okay, I said the Seven of Pentacles. That always speaks to me of, of nurturing. Not just nurturing, but like tending a garden. Being patient and allowing the things you've planted to grow. All right? But I'm seeing weeds. It's something about weeds growing in your garden. It's time to clear these weeds that are growing in your garden. Yeah. Mark the dust. Weeds in your garden. What is the Seven of Cups spirit for Pisces with the Ten of Pentacles? All right. Some of y'all may not know. Some of y'all may be have, okay, a lot of choices, a lot of options, a lot of directions. Y'all may have a lot of shit in your home or your family, right, that you're uncovering discovering i heard too clarity mm. look at that i'm telling you clarity literally this is awakening this is seeing shit for what it is what is it spirit and then you got the ace of wands on the bottom of the deck all right it's gonna be different for everybody but the ace of wands is a new creation right i always think of spirit with the wands too it's something about angelic assistance here as well knowing that you're protected all right, calling out for protectance, protection, <laughs> what is what I heard too. Gallop, okay? I keep hearing something about a horse, gallop. All right. Clarity, I heard that again, clarity. What is this clarity in regards to spirit? It's something about y'all cutting away shit too. This uh, knight of swords sitting here with this big ass sword standing up. It's something about like, whoosh, whoosh, is what I'm hearing. Cutting down, cut, cutting out the cobwebs or something. All right, spirit. Anything else for Pisces in regards to them cleaning, clearing the four of cups? What is that in, uh, in regards to spirit? Wow, something unexpected happening. With the four of cups, I think of boredom. Uh, and then the seven of swords, that's sneakiness, all right? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be significant here. Definitely maybe a Leo for some of you guys, all right? With sneaky behavior, all right? Four of cups in the, uh, in the tower, all right? Mm. Give me a minute, Pisces. What's about to happen? Oh shit, I just want you to know. It ain't where I've been, what? But where I'm about to go. It ain't where you been, but where you about to go, Pisces. This is gonna happen all of a sudden too. What's gonna happen all of a sudden, spirit? Now give it to me. Hey, that good stuff. <laughs> to that good stuff damn something that might bring you put you in your feelings you got 55 five of cups and the five of pentacles this is lack mindset this is um um scarcity all right this is feeling like what the fuck sad as shit and i wish i never met her at all might be about someone Oh shit, it's about to go down. What's that? Oh fuck, this could be dealing with a family. It's something about family here. You got 10 10. 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles. Some illusion that may be in a family unit. You may find something out here, Pisces. I'm hearing it's something about you clearing the weeds, clearing the bullshit from around you, right? And something about you clearing whether this is clothes, food, uh, junk, just something about a, a people. Okay, something about you clearing out the air that's going to bring you clarity. I'm telling you, it's going to bring in some form of clarity, possibly about a king of wands, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or uh, cancer could be significant too. Anything else, spirit? Four of swords. Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Y'all, what's up with the doubles again? Y'all just had a reading yesterday with doubles, 44. Four speaks of stability, all right? Let me see. 
I feel like some of y'all are having anxiety regarding money. All right. Give them some advice, Spirit. What can they do in regards to this to prepare for this? What can they do? Two of um of wands. Give me a minute. Two of wands always makes and then the way it's I, I'm hearing philosophy. Philosophy. All right, so y'all might be learning something. Something about okay. What is the two of wands? I'm here and look to the future. He said, yeah, and forget your man. Been around the world. I'm telling you. With this, I always think about travel too with that. What do they need to do with this two of, two of wands? With this, it's like setting out. I'm here in new mindset. What's the two of wands, spirit? For advice for Pisces, please. Perseverance fell out and generosity. I'm also hearing gratitude. All right. Perseverance. It says, it seems you're on a massive journey right now. I'm telling you with the two of wands, bruh. I'm telling you, that's journey, that's travel, that's looking out to like, looking to, towards the future. Right? perseverance it seems you're on a massive journey right now and this card has arrived to remind you that you will reach the other side the mountain you're climbing is huge and formidable but so is your ability to climb it you don't need to enjoy it you just need to tackle that shit some about clearing something in your home some of y'all might need to do cord cutting uh, uh cord cutting or um saging smudging things like that in your home um organ blast okay shit all of that. If y'all look. Oh, uh, and impairments. You got ideal partnership right here. Yeah, for some of y'all, this could have been dealing with love. If not, uh, you know, a whole family. It could be dealing with your mate. Bus shots. Rub on your tits and whatnot. I'm from the school of the hard knocks. Divine time in Pisces divine time i'm here just keep going forward like <clears throat> what you can't control you can't do nothing about that there's no need to stress over whatever this is that's not in your control okay especially with this towel here that's some that you're not gonna be able to you can't control it all you can do is prepare for it all right persevere through it all right i feel like wow ideal partnership right by divine timing right whatever this partnership is that you are desiring persevere through whatever this is you're getting through i see the sun on the other side i see the end of the rainbow okay or something like that i'm hearing the, i see the rainbow or some shit i don't know anything else spirit for pisces for advice ups and downs i see life as an incredible ride and i'm lucky to be on it yes the ups and downs make me want to puke sometimes but they're also what makes me uh, would make things fun and interesting and when you look back even puking on yourself makes for a good story that's crazy and authenticity stepping into your true power once again pisces clearing the weeds in your garden and stepping into your true power real talk don't forget to like the video i love y'all talk to you later